Next up, uh, looks like, uh, according to analyst Jeff Grubb from Venture Beats, he said that Nintendo isn't planning a direct at all for now. It's telling development partners not to wait for a direct, even if they have a big announcement. I think we kind of figured that. Um, it, it probably means more that we're going to see a lot more announcements in these summer conferences, Anton, than maybe we would have. I think you'll see things maybe being shoehorned into that that wouldn't have they'd have waited for the next direct and now they're thinking, well, let's just let's just go for it at the next conference we have the opportunity to do it. Yeah, you know, I, I very much um like the news like if we had a normal direct, let's take the like the one where Luigi's Mansion got announced. Luigi's Mansion, you know, being a big triple A game Kind of got overshadowed by the fact that you know there's Metroids and there's uh, Animal Crossings, there's Smash Bros. They're they're all floating around and they're competing for competition. And you know if we had a direct, a full direct right now with the kind of, n- kind of average arrangement of Nintendo games, Paper Mario would have fell to the kind of the the kind of show notes. Like it wouldn't have been a highlight announcement. And uh, you know doing them individually maybe be the the next step on Nintendo's journey of kind of. Uh, to shackling industry trends, which, you know, it's went from the big dedicated conference, now everybody's doing the digital conference, so maybe just going fully and just dropping trailers and having the full spotlight on your individual announcements, maybe the way the industry's going? I- I'm not too sure, Alistair. Do you think there's yeah. substance there? I think I think you kind of hit the nail on the head last week, I think, when we were talking about a similar topic, and sort of Nintendo kind of going, well, screw you guys, we're going him. We, we were doing this first, now you guys are all doing it, we're going to go do our own thing, and why not? I mean, like you say, Paper Mario was a big event because it was randomly dropped and mm, was probably more like a Mario Rapids, I guess, kind of release, where it's kind of cool, it's cool, a lot of people love it, but it's not sort of Mario Odyssey or Zelda or Metroid, and this way it's got a lot more exposure than it would have done. Um, and I, I get... I get that model going forward, but equally at the same time, we've talked about this before as well, that this could just be a blip in Nintendo's development um, cycle and the way they're doing the Direct. So if they are trying to do Directs closer to the release of these big games, there's going to be this window, uh, and maybe that's we're still in that window and this is just the way the cycle is going until Nintendo catches back up again. Yeah, you just reminded me that I downloaded um, Mario Rabbids during the last sale. I just remembered. I was like, oh, yeah, I should play that. So thanks for that reminder. Uh, yeah, no, I think um, I think that the next Direct is going to be a huge event, but I think that we are going to be waiting a while for that. So I think expect more of these dropped release announcements out of nowhere. And I think that's kind of exciting in its own way, and they have to keep doing something exciting. Otherwise, people will get fed up with the fact we haven't got a Direct. 